Дамы и господа, а сейчас с особым удовольствием мы представляем вам трехраундовый женский бой в минимальном весе. И первый в синий угол клетки. Добро пожаловать, боец из Калининграда. Встречайте, Анастасия Феофанова! You're watching MMA Series 22 FCP. We're live from Kaliningrad, Russia. Brought to you by the Football Sports Network and around the world on the Clash TV app. I'm Ian M16 Butlin, and this is the female flyweight contest between the first fight you see here before you, Anastasia Fiofinova. Fiofinova has a record of six wins and one defeat. You can see on her record, she likes to strike TKO shots and wins in three of her fights. More recently though, submission by Armbar, the dying seconds of the first round back December 2019. She's not fought through 2020, but that can't be criticism of any fighters in this current situation. A lot of fighters couldn't get into the gyms and there's not been as many shows around here she is back in action on mma series so her opponent making her way down to the red corner for this female flyweight contest yulia ostrovakova now ostrovakova has had two fights both wins. Her first fight, a TKO win, but in the third round, really had to work for that TKO. And the second fight, even closer. She won a split decision back in October 2019. So both these girls have been out of action through 2020, over a year since they both fought. Be interesting to see, have they been working in the gym? Have they been trying to improve that skill set, keep the action going. A lot of it have been pressure on coaches. I myself have a fight team. I try to prepare, trying to keep them ready. And we're looking for fights in 2021 of, of a couple of matches already. And it's difficult to get people back in, get the sparring partners. So here we go now female flyweight contest on MMA series. Первый бойец в синем углу. Ей 31 год. Рост 170 сантиметров, вес 51,2 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 6 побед и только одно поражение. Она чемпионка мира, чемпионка Европы по грэпплингу, чемпионка Северо-Западного федерального округа по боксу, двукратная победительница всероссийского турнира по рукопашному бою памяти Олега Бутейка, представляющий клуб Самба Микс из Калининграда Фонтана Анастасия Феофанова. А вот ее соперница в красном углу клетки. Ей 31 год, рост 163 сантиметра. Ее вес 52 килограмма ровно. А профессиональный рекорд – три победы без поражений. Она финалист Кубка России по панкратиону и финалист Сибирского федерального округа по этому виду спорта. Финалист Сибирского федерального округа и чемпионка области по грэпплингу и победительница турниров по кикбоксингу и боксу, представляющая Starfight Team из Новосибирска Юлия Астраферхова. Рефери поединка Владислав Щеблы. Бойцы на середину. Помним его правила, не нарушаем. Уважаем друг друга. Пожали руки. По углам. You watch an MMA series 22 FCP, and this is a female flyweight contest between Fiofanova in the blue corner, Ostrovakova in the red. Boy. Fiofanova, tall, rangy. Using a nice jab early on. Nice high kicks, landing shots, but big shots come back there from Ostrovakova. Into the clinch. 
Well defended by the taller girl, Fiafinova. Looking to trip there with the outside trip. Good balance. Well defended. She's got her hands gripped now. There's Ostrovakova. But she needs to do something with that. She needs to try to pull, bend the spine, pull the hips in close. At the, time, at the moment, she's gone up high. To do that, she's looking to now pummel in, try to get two underhooks. Really trying to work that hand in. Really working to try to get that right hand underhook in. She's got the left underhook. She's wanting to get both. She switches there now for the hip throw, but puts herself off balance. And the good counter takedown there came from Fiafanova. She's looking now to lock up an arm so that she can ground and pound. Look how she splits the arms together using the knee. Oh, she actually worked for the Americana there on the far arm. It's going to be difficult to get that there until, unless you can control the left arm with the legs. But good side control position now. Anastasia Fiafanova, six wins, one loss. The more experienced fighter, she's on top inside control. Nice underhook there, controlling from the far side and looking to pin that left arm again. Looking to get behind the elbow there. <laughs> Again, Ostrovakova knows what's coming. She gets that S grip, tries to keep her hands together. Defend the attack. Switching base nicely, controlling this position. Halfway through round number one now. See that Ostrovakova using the bridge. The bridge is the good escape, as I said earlier, for when somebody's over your hips, but once they get above your chest and the weight's over the chest, the bridge is fairly, um, I wouldn't say pointless, but it's not, no, nowhere near as effective. Now, as she pushes her further down the body, now the bridge will move her. So you've got to look at which escapes work in which positions. Again, as she comes further up to the top here, you need to be working maybe the hip switch, work, trying to work, get your elbows to the floor and turn to your sides at the moment. As she lies flat, it's actually a good position for Fiafanova just to control her. But the referee wasn't seeing enough action and he stands them back up and we are up into open play. Is this a chance now for Ostrovakova to try to get the take the initiative nice right hand over the top again and comes back the left hook Ostrovakova doing well here now chopping away at that long front leg Fiafanova feels that closes the distance now looking for the takedown again pick up into side control Now, can Ostrovakova start to turn into her? She needs to get her elbow to the She get, tries to get the elbow in. But again, you see Fiavanova looking to catch that elbow to work the ground and pound. Bringing that left leg up, she's trying to catch the right arm. She's got the mount position now. If she can secure a little bit higher up. Just by the fence, she's working the punches in, but what she's trying to do is work her position up, try to secure that mount with the knees up higher. And there she goes. Now she's in a full mount. Can she get a finish? There's only seven seconds left. Big punches going down. It's a good, strong finish here, but not enough to get the finish. If you're watching at home on a Clash TV app, please clap for your favorite fighters, score the fights. Discuss the fights in the chat room. Another big, high lead left kick there. The punches, when they stood back up, definitely were better. Foster Vakova.
but the big takedowns and the control on the floor was all one-sided. And that is why I give that round to Anastasia Fiofanova. Look at that side control there. So as we look at the strikes, they tell a similar story to my score in 42 thrown for Fiofanova, 25 landed compared with 14 landed for Ostrogakova. A lot of those shots were landed actually when they were stood back up and she came in more aggressive and got probably her best work of the round. So as the corners leave the cage, the second official will lock the door. And we are ready for round number two, MMA Series 22, female flyweight contest between Anastasia Fiofanova and Yulia Ostrovakova. Tall, rangy Fiofanova. Again, looking to use the length of the legs. Length of that jab. Really forcing Ostrovakova to have to come in she have to work there. She tries to come with that overhand right. She won't do it looping over like that. She needs the longer right hand that she got success with in the first round. Closing back up to the clinch. And again, will it be a pick up and slam? Double underhooks this time though for Ostrovakova. Nicely countered into an under over clinch. Looking for the trip. Nice S script there, but it's not going to be enough. She's going to get picked up here, I believe. There she goes. She's off the floor and down. And let's see how easy now will feel for Nova past guard. She's already a lot of the way past the knee shields in, but she's actually past both feet there. Looking to Maybe posture up past that knee line. She pushes one leg past. No, oh, the knee's still in, so... Ostrovakova can try to circle out a little bit, try to pull her into the full guard, maybe. See if she can work something from there at the moment. The foot is caught. Watch for Fia for Nova to try and just push that knee out with her left hand. Push the right knee with the left hand and try to pass. It'd be difficult as she can't push it now while it's against the fence. And she's trying to work up for an arm bar here. The arm's in, she's used the fence really well there to try and get the leg over. She can pull her heel down to control the posture, stop the posture there. Fiafanova does a good job there of getting her head back in. It's where she starts to need to use that left hand to try and drive punches in, try to work from this position. She's been held close. Now the head's free. There she goes. She punches with that left hand. And she's past that knee now. Into side control. Again, looks to control that right arm. Past the halfway point now in this fight. So far, fairly one-sided fight for Anastasia Fiofanova, who's now controlling side control. Gets a knee in. She's still finding it hard to break that S-grip and to keep it pinned. But constantly threatening, constantly bringing the knee in, pinning the leg again. Looking to secure a good mount. Now she's done that with 90 seconds left now and pinned the arm. She makes her give up the back. She's gone for the arm bar. Again, it's the S grip stopping her. But she pulls it straight, and that's going to be over. Arm bar finished there. But Anastasia Fiofanova. Excellent win, excellent control from start to finish in that fight for me. 
А для награждения добро пожаловать федер... президент Федерации Джиу-Джитсу Калининградской области, депутат Гудьевского городского округа Игорь Анатольевич Мазуркевич. Итак, дамы и господа, время остановки боя 3 минуты и 40 секунд второго раунда. Болевым приемом на руку победу одержала Анастасия Фегофанова. Калининград, клуб Самба Микс. И аплодисменты ее соперницы Юлии Островерковой. So great win there for Anastasia Fiofanova. Moves to seven and one. First loss for Yulia Ostrovakova. Not the end of the world. I'm sure she'll come back fighting. Настя, вопрос к тебе. Доволен ли ты боем? Все ли у тебя получилось? Настя, there is a question to you. Are you happy with this win? Yeah, I'm glad that I came here. Thanks to MMA series organization. Thanks to everyone. I'm very glad. It was a very good fight, girls. Thank you very much. So you will see the replay of this female flyweight contest. Anastasia Fiofanova using her reach in the stand-up. Superior wrestling and then on the floor, she controlled the side control position so well. Again, you see the big pickups here. Take down to the floor. The one chance Ostrovakova probably had was the armbar, but it was well defended. And then it was an armbar of her own. Finished the fight for Fiofanova.